Hello everybody, in this lecture we learn how to use delete and also update methods. Before that, before writing our course, I want to warn you about something. Delete method, it makes permanent jobs. Okay, what I mean, if you delete something from your database with delete method, you cannot get your data ba back, okay? It makes permanent job for the delete method. Update method, actually you can fix your, uh, if you make something wrong, uh, you can fix your problem, but for the delete method, you cannot get your data back, okay? So this is very important. Before using delete method, we need to know we cannot get our data back. Okay, and uh, here, let's, this is our codes before we have it. Now, I will create here again another function, okay? And it will be def, let's say delete data, okay, the first one. And after that here, I will say, Again, like before, cursor dot execute. Here I will say delete from my table employee, right? And I will use again where clause here, okay? Where, for example, let's check our database. Uh, show in Explorer company. And browse table. For example, we can say here where the name is equal to David, okay? Or you can say name is equal to, yes, David is fine, the first record. So we will say here where our column name is name, name is, is equal to David, okay? And after that, what I need to do here, I will say, like before, com.commit, okay? And here another function we can use with delete and update method. This is something new. Let's also learn it. I will pr say print. Uh, how we can use it? We can say let's for example this is con dot total chains. Okay, the our function name. And after that this is it will say how many rows with updated or deleted we can find with this. A function okay and uh, here I will say plus record deleted okay like that we can use it and now if I run well, before run we actually we call we need to call our function I will say here delete data okay now if I run my code and let's see our result what it said it said plus sorry here I can say like like that okay and now it it will be fine it will be. as you see it says zero record deleted because actually we uh, before it's also uh, delete our data from our database that's why so let's check it again employee and I think David is not here so let's edit and after that again try to delete it okay I will say David and something surname age is something like let's say 36 and the Texas let's say again and 3500 okay if I I will say yes okay now I will try it again now let's run our code again as you see it said one record deleted and let's check it our table show in Explorer and employee browse as you see now i don't have record it start with david okay this is how we can use delete method in python and uh, i want to sell you something here as you see here we said where name is david right so we that means with where clause like before we learned how to use where clause right remember and here for example where age is less than 30 and age is greater than 25 we can use where clause like that how we can do that for example let's check our database and uh, after that let's decide which one we can uh, delete with where okay so for example let's we say we can say let's fire guys from los angeles okay and uh, it which one is kate and george right if we want to fire these guys from the guys from los angeles how we can do that we will delete it and this time we need to use address okay and i will say here where uh 
address is equal to Los Angeles. That means I will delete two records from my database. Okay. If I s run this code, as you see, it said two record deleted because I had two guys from Los Angeles. And let's check our database again here. Show in Explorer, company, and employee, browse table. As you see, I don't have two, uh, the, that two records because I deleted them. Okay, this is how we can use delete uh, function. And also for the update, uh, it's very similar like uh, delete function. Only we need to, let's make this one is command line. Okay. Control plus slash here for the update method. I will type another definition function and I will say here def update data. Okay. Colon and here what I need to say. I need to say again like before cursor that execute and update. My table name is employee, right? Employee. And uh, after that, I need to say set. Mm, let's what we can set. For example, let's check this one, our uh, database. And after that, let's decide about what we can update in our database. Hmm. Here, for example, we can say this guy Paul has his salary is uh, is two thousand. So if you want to increase his salary. We can say here set salary is equal to for example 2000 right this is the guy's salary and uh, sorry so this one is new value so I will say 3000 okay the set the salary 3000 and the uh, where salary is equal to 2000 okay and here like that and here also I need to use quotes right that is okay now fine okay I will say here update employee my table name of that set salary this is new value 3000 where the salary is 2000 okay and now here what like before I will say con dot commit like always okay and after that again we can use this guy okay the print uh, records updated okay now let's run our code as you see process finish with exit zero code but what we need, uh, yes, we didn't call our function, right? So uh, here I will say update data. Okay, let's run it now. As you see, it said one record updated. And let's check our database here. Show in Explorer. And company, employee, browse table. As you see, Paul was, has his salary was 2000 and now it is 3000. This is how we can update our data from our database.